Hi friends! So, I've had a few people asking how to do those jiggly and bouncy eyes in Life 2D, so I'm just going to show you how to do that right now. So we already have our model's eye opening and closing rigged, and this is basically what it looks like without any physics added to it. So first we're going to click new parameter and we're going to be making two parameters, light jiggle R and light jiggle R2. The minimum of these is 1 and maximum is 1, just so that it's easier later on. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click the three main highlights of this model and create a new warp deformer. We're going to be creating two, jiggle R1 and jiggle R2. Next, we're going to key these warp deformers to their parameters and make sure that the parameters are matching the same warp deformer numbers. So jiggle R1 to jiggle R1 and jiggle R2 to jiggle R2. And now we're going to rig the parameters. So this is how I did it, but feel free to play around with the method and maybe you'll find a better method that works for your model. For jiggle R1, how I did it is I just rotated it back and forth. And for jiggle R2, I just kind of had an inward and outward motion. If you have any other highlight layers, then you can create warp deformers for those and then just rig them separately or you can rig them in the same way. Now that we've rigged the highlights, I'd also like to show you how I rigged the eyes to jiggle for this model. So we're going to select the iris layer and the topmost highlight layer. So for me, that's jiggle R1. And then create the new warp deformer and then we're going to create the same two warp deformers, jiggle R1 and jiggle R2. And then how I rig that is for jiggle R1, it kind of goes fatter and skinnier. And for jiggle R2, it kind of gets taller and shorter. And then we're going to be going into the physics slash scene blending window. In the physics and scene blending window, we're going to click add and create a new group. I'm going to name this IR. Of course, that depends on which I you're doing. And then click OK. For the input parameter, we're going to add IR open or IL depending on which one you're doing. And we're going to set the effectiveness at 100%. For the physics pendulum, you can really play with the settings and see what works for you, but these are my settings for this model. Just make sure that there are two points on the pendulum. And then we're going to go into the output settings and add the jiggle R1 and jiggle R2 as the output parameters. And make sure that the pendulum that it's attached to is 1 and 2. And then we're just going to test it out. If the output value here is less than 100%, then click the increase output button so that it'll fix it. And if it's at some crazy number like 500, then just click decrease output so that it fixes that. But what I like to have it at is at around 130 because in VTube Studio it tends to weaken the physics a bit. So here it may look like this, but it'll look a lot weaker in VTube Studio. So I have it just a bit higher so that it kind of offsets the imbalance. And we're done. Thank you for watching.